<laughs> Very true. During the ceremony, you all heard Erica read from Paul's letter to the Corinthians, Love is patient, love is kind. Paul goes on to end that passage with love believes all things, trusts all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Dave and I know that firsthand. As all of you are now aware, um, we first met in 1973 in high school and we re-met each other in a Facebook high school alumni group during our first meeting after 36 years we shared stories of our lives during the missing years we spoke of successes and failures tragedies and triumphs heartbreaks and happiness and I think any of you who know us well and know our stories will agree that we definitely had endured all things. Since we re met, Dave and I have been presented with countless opportunities to provide support for each other. We've leaned on each other, dried each other's tears, shared each other's smiles. And now as the past 42 years come full circle, We'd like to thank you for joining this wedding with us, and we know that you will agree with Paul's words, love never fails. And I'd like to propose a toast now to our wedding party, our kids, and their significant others. I didn't bring my drink. To our wedding party. <laughs> our wedding party! <laughs> Okay, my turn. Uh, I'd like to thank all the guests and everyone for joining us this evening for this special day. And one that's been uh, many, many years in the making. Talking to Mike. Okay, now everybody can hear me. Sherry, I don't know if a lot of you know, but uh, Sherry used to be a professional wedding planner. And uh, trust me, I learned a lot of things about the whole wedding process that I was completely oblivious to before. <laughs> uh, like, lengths of dresses being T-length, like, what the hell is T-length? Okay, I know that now. Uh, she taught me about also uh, different things like pillars on cakes and candles, like candle can be a pillar. Uh, news to me, all right. And also one of the rooms in her condo was turned into wedding central. Uh, everything, flowers, you name it, the, the poster that we had up there, of the uh, table settings, it, the place was just a disaster for the longest time. On the flip side, I did manage to teach her a little bit more about patience, uh, you know, patient and kind, that sort of thing. Uh, on at least one occasion, I had to say something, you know, calm down, be patient, things will happen. Definitely our patience has paid off. As she uh, said, we did um, go out for many months in 1973. Her dad somewhat remembers. <laughs> Over the years, as Sherry said, we've had tri uh, triumphs and tragedies. Uh, fate had other plans for us. Um, but one of the things that we did realize is that despite all the things that happened to us over the years, we maintained who we were back then. And the first chance we had to actually get together again after being apart for so long, after we uh, reconnected on Facebook, we spoke for 
like four hours at a Tim Hortons. Didn't even buy a coffee. We just sat there and talked. And it was like the years had never happened between 73 and, what was it? 2009. 2009. Uh, and it was just amazing. We also had a chance to uh, reconnect with things that had happened to us over the years and realized there's many similarities that we had in our stories over those years and that really meant that we were able to connect with each other and really understand what each other had gone through and that really really helped to bring us together I really have a film sorry I really fell in my uh, soul. Oh. I love you. Yeah. I love someone, someone I can trust and love with my whole heart. She's smart. She didn't want me to say this, but there's a lot of things I really, really love her about her, but she is quite smart. <laughs> author, as some of you know, published many books. Beautiful, an excellent listener, and uh, lets me practice my listening skills many times. <laughs> <laughs> and all in all, a perfect person for me. Oh. And I hope I'm the same for her. You are. people I would like, uh, would like to thank, some here and some not. Sherry's parents for raising such a wonderful daughter and for uh, deciding to settle in Toronto so that Sherry and I would have the opportunity to meet. Uh, I have a distinct memory of uh, a particular situation with Jim. Uh, Sherry and I had just come back from watching a movie, <laughs> and he uh, was about this far from my face, asking me to recite the plot, <laughs> knowing exactly what had happened during the entire movie. <laughs> Thankfully, I remembered enough of the bits and pieces of the movie to make it sound plausible that I actually did watch the whole thing. <laughs> my parents, who have been uh, long gone now, uh, they agreed to let me move to Toronto. That, again, was a way for Sherry and I to meet. And also for my aunt. Uh, she was the second one to me. She changed her life around so that I would have the opportunity to, uh, to go to the school and be able to meet Sherry. I'm sure they're looking down on us now. And of course, uh, I'd like to thank Sherry for remembering me. Uh, <laughs> and to see my wife. I'd like to now propose a toast to well, my friends and family. Friends and family. You guys are amazing. <laughs> How are you? <laughs>